Hi, this is author philosopher Ronald Springer for ethicsunderground.com. Welcome back to Self-Made Man, Chapter 4, Part 6, I believe. Today we're, to, we're going to talk about instincts and how confidence for human beings displaces instinct. All living entities run a cycle of accumulation, processing, and the result, which is either a reward or penalty. Often considered an involuntary biological process, it is the pattern of cognition as well. The living patterns of self-made man all share this structure and can be seen at all levels of rational, civil, human endeavor, free market economics or capitalism, sound business organizations, democratic elections, the evolution of the space program, Olympic training, choosing a career, the process of eating, the list is endless. All human action has a purpose, an end in mind, and leads back to its origin, the elements which compose a single thought. The purpose of this cause and effect relationship is to produce confidence, an axiomatic need for a non-automatic consciousness which acts as a constant barometer of physical and spiritual health. Animals supposedly have instincts to guide them, a set course to follow, so confirmation of sound cognition is unnecessary. All they need is a predictable environment to act in. Regardless of what is considered the primary causal factor, a disruption at any step affects the rest. It is a natural continuum. Studies have shown that when an animal's life pattern of effort for sustenance is interrupted with penalties when expecting rewards, it will quit eating, refusing to exist in a world it cannot comprehend. And this is true for us as well. Confidence is the emotional aggregate resulting from the status of one's condition regarding the primary alternative, life or death. It involves data encompassing how well one's chosen premises are achieving one's desired ends, one's intellectual and physical health. Confidence attained is never a fixed state. It needs replenishing even more frequently than the body needs food. Confidence results from our every day-to-day -day action, and it varies from brimming to anemic, just as our situations vary. I'm sure you can remember getting a job and suffering the embarrassment of a poor initial performance, which, with critical apprehension, was rectified quickly to your relief as you settled into the work. Imagine reliving that experience every moment. Imagine if every right turn was supposed to be a left. If we didn't make most moves in life correctly, the stress alone would kill us off in no time. Pride, or self-esteem, is our awareness that our actions are correct. By adding to and building our confidence, they indicate that our ability to satisfy the requirements of existence have proven effective. A sense of prideful confidence is a part of the continuum for a rational being, a reward we have to earn and deserve, and which we could not live without. Well, that's all for now. Next up, we'll explore our mental structure itself. Click subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you'd like to help wipe out moral confusion in the world and make it a better place. Below are links to Moral Armor and The Care and Feeding of Freedom, my latest book, on Amazon. Please leave comments or questions, and I'll be glad to explore these topics further with you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.